in the vinyl community. It's Fadakin here from Weekly Rations and today I have for you a little collection of pavement records. Um, it looks bigger than what it is because I have quite a few duplicates. Um, let me just set it down because it's quite heavy. So, Fadakin delivers his pavement records. Um, pavement was probably my second favourite band during the mid-90s. Um, I've always been a big fan of the lo-fi, Southern Californian, indie, fuzzy, grungy noise. Really nice, right up my street. I'd say Sonic Youth would probably be my favourite um, indie band and Pavement were a close second. So a decent enough wee collection. Unfortunately it seems to stop around about the late mid 90s whenever CDs sort of became my primary purchase which is a bit disappointing for me but I have a decent little collection to show you today. Um, I start off with the 7 inches, then run through the albums and 12 inches. Um, 7 inches just because they're handy for me to hold. So, um, the first 7 inch that I own is Demolition Plot J7. So, this I guess is, the, is their first widely available release on, I think it's on Drag City. Um, Demolition Plot J7, hope you can see that okay. Um, not very trusting this iPhone camera today. Um, 6 tracks on 7 inch on Drag City Records. Um, regular up final. So, um, I was quite happy to get that, I remember getting this a good few years ago. Um, next 7 inch I want to show you is actually a flexi disc, which is uh, free with the magazine here in the UK where I'm based. And it's a single pavement track called My First Mine on a pretty cool brown sort of vinyl or brown effect vinyl. Um, don't think it's particularly rare, it's probably worth a few pounds, uh, I'm not sure. But it's pretty cool. The only flex disc I actually own. Next is Summer Babe 7 inch, again on Drag City. Um, which probably be, I guess, Pavement's breakthrough song, Summer Babe. It's a real American college um, radio station favourite, I suppose, at the time. Um, I think there's a few different presents of it. This is the gold label, anyway. Then we have Trigger Cut Plus Two, um, Sue Me Jack, and so stark, your skyscraper are the B-sides. Two excellent B-sides on on this um, release. Uh, again, I think this is a big cat pressing, so this would be a Europe pressing. Where I'm from, obviously. Black vinyl. Most of them are black vinyl. Nothing jumps out. This is life, and it's flat, and it's six, and it's eight. Next one is a split. Uh, payment doing Dancing with the Elders, which I think this is David Bowie track. Split with Medusa Cyclone. Um, pretty cool. I think it's black vinyl, but um, I think I've done a vinyl rip of this already, so you can see this on my channel if you want to hear it. Uh, it's an acoustic version of it. Tax rations feel. Then we're moving into the kind of slightly later. After the, I think this is off the fourth album, Give It A Day is the single. Um, four tracker, so the pavement obviously don't uh, sell you short on their um, tracks, because they're lo fi masterpieces, of course. Um, black vinyl is, is Big Cat. Noise addict, sound of a foe. Oh, yeah. Our hearts were blanketed with it all. Stereo, quite a big loud brash pavement tune with just a single B-side on that one. Um, Listen to me, I'm on the stereo, stereo, oh, um, Shitty Lane, which is one of the latter day singles, um, just a single B-side on that as well. Um, another big brash pop song from Pavement. Quite a shade of trash and this emery board is giving me a rash I'm flat out And the last one I was going to show you is actually, I believe this is a bootleg 
So the cover is the same as the very first Pavement album, or single, sorry, um, Slate Tracks. But this is, um, this is a collection of Peel Sessions from 1994. A couple of, there's four tunes on it. So it's set up to look exactly like the Slate Tracks, that, but it's obviously, it's a bit like, so. That's the 7 inch collection. Not bad. And now I'll bend down and get the vinyl. We have Slanted and Enchanted, the first Pavement album. I think this is a big cat release. Love the cover on this, love the tunes, obviously top notch pavement, lo fi, fuzzy, jammy masterpieces. Um, I do appear to have two copies because um, my brother in law donated his record collection to me a few years ago, so thanks for that, Doc, if you're watching. Um, they're both the same pressing. Big Cat France, but there's definitely a colour difference in them. I don't know if that's just the, the sleeves and there's definitely covers them. But it's the same the same record. Next, we have the second album, Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain. Again uh, original Big Cat European pressing. And again, the brother-in-law gave me his copy. The good thing about his copy is, you can see here, limited edition free 7-inch, which um, appears to have been lost on this other pressing. And it has a pretty cool version of Jam Kids on it, which I'll slot in here for a little bit of musical background. Um, so that's cool. I like to wrap my Harvesting peace around it. Let me have Wowie Zowie, the third album, the real stoner album. Sorted Sentinels. So, whereas Cricket Rain, Cricket Rain was full of pop masterpieces, the, the band, I don't know, lots of weed being smoked perhaps, but this is like their concept album full of quite longer songs with a few noisy jams. The good thing about this one is, um, the third, fourth side is just plain black vinyl, nothing on it whatsoever. So that's pretty cool, just smooth vinyl for you. Um, this would be another European pressing. I don't know if this version would come out in the States or not. Compilation of Westing by Musket and Sextant. Um, just a compilation though of loads of unreleased and early tunes. Um, some of them are on the set inches. You have to say it's perfect old pavement sound. You know, from almost from Crooked Rain onwards, pavement had a, 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 at least a, a sort of produced sound. These are a more home for tracks and stuff. So two copies of that. Okay, I mentioned this one in my video introduction. This is uh, the Watery Domestic EP. Two copies. Um, again, this is probably my favorite. This is pavement distilled into four songs as far as I'm concerned. So, um, four killer tunes. And if you ever wanted to uh, introduce someone into the band, I would start there. It's been said, he's sitting now. In the now moving into the 12 inch territory, that's all the albums I have. Sadly, the other two albums are on um, CD. So we have Gold Signs 12 inch, 4 track 12 inch, a couple of killer B sides on there. Um, very pavement style artwork. I probably should have showed you some of the inserts here, but it's too busy talking. Opinions and they're coming to the chorus now. I keep my address to yourself as we secrets. Cut your hair, the college rock 
MTV masterpiece that it was. Bit the tune. Copies. Well, I'm out of space here. Darling, don't you go and cut your hair. Do you think it's gonna make him change? I'm just a boy with a new hair. Father to the sister of a thought, which is another 12 inch, with a couple of cool B sides on there as well. Um, muscle Rock. Going back to cut your hair, camera and stare are two amazing B sides. Really, really good. Should have been album tracks. Rattled by the Rush. Four tracks in total, so it's pretty, pretty good. Life, your big uh, diss song, slagging off the Smashing Pumpkins. A couple of good B-sides, Coolin' by Sound being an awesome B-side. And one little gem for you, the first Silver Jews record. So this was Steve Malkinus's sort of side project with David Ber Bergman. D Bergman. Um, I think Steve Malkinus really only played on the first album, maybe one or two tracks after that. This is a great little slice of country Americana indie lo fi -ness. Um Really recommend, and I'm sure most of um, people fans would have listened to it already. Troubles, no troubles. Online. So that's it. That's my favorite collection, and I'm going to wrap up it quite quickly. And hopefully, you enjoy it, and it's been of value to you. Thanks. Cheers, man.